Hey, what's going on, everyone? It is Behavior here again for another trailer reaction. It feels it's been like a week since I uploaded the video, so sorry about that. I would have had the Hitman's Bodyguard up because they had an early screening for that. They had one yesterday, today, they had two last week, but um, I didn't have passes for last week. The one I tried to go to yesterday, I got there too late, and so they turned people away because they overbooked the theaters on purpose and i didn't have a pass for the one today so i'm gonna have to get you that review tomorrow when it's released uh for regular people or regular times or whatever so sorry it's been a, a week since i gave you a video i planned it on get planned on giving me a video before but now we have thor ragnarok international trailer number two it's actually trailer number two but the international trailer well i don't know how to explain it but I had no idea this was going to be released today, um, but you know, that's usually how it is with international trailers. The first Thor Ragnarok trailer that was released in April, I thought that was pretty cool. It was a nice little tease of what's to come, especially showing the Hulk at the end and Thor clashing in the middle of the air. But then we got the uh, real first trailer during Comic-Con last month in July, and that was dope as hell. I love that. But now we have Doctor, not, uh, yeah, Thor Ragnarok International Trailer number two. And in the uh, image, like I saw a thumbnail of somebody else that reacted to it, like a big YouTuber. He just hit 2 million subscribers. Uh, it said that Doctor Strange is going to be popping up in this trailer as well. So let's check this out. I think this is going to be Japanese. So let me go ahead and put on these headphones and y'all can stop listening to me talk. But watch me watch this trailer. Here we go. Doctor Strange. <laughs> I don't expect to see too much new footage. I love that music. I can't wait to see that fight. Battle Royal. Can't wait to see that either. November 3rd is going down. Well, we kind of got like a little ex extended snippet here and there, extended clip here and there. I wasn't expecting to see uh, too much new footage. The next time we'll get a full length trailer like number two will be in uh, September. There's no release date. I'm just guessing because usually they always release the last trailer two months before the release date. Sometimes, I mean, that's the general rule. It's usually the, you know, like the teaser or uh, the teaser or announcement trailer five months before and then two months before. But it, that's not always uh, exact. Now, um, I, I don't know. I, I, I really liked, uh, I, I, like, I, don't be offended by this. Uh, and if it's offensive, let me know in the comments, my bad. But I love the way Japanese people sound when they talk. Uh, they just always sound like they mean business, whether they're speaking subtle or fierce. Uh, and I mean that as an, in a positive way. So when he was coming through Battle Royale, I was like, you kind of just kind of intensify at the moment, making me think that it's, you know, really about to go down. Um, I don't want to rehash on all the stuff that I geeked about in the last trailer. I'll just be uh, repeating myself. Um, but it was something in this trailer that stood out to me. 
And I'm just saying it stood out to me and I can't even remember what I'm trying to uh, say about it. But if it comes to me before I end this video, of course, uh, I will talk about it. Now, most of you already know that this is basically loosed on uh, the Planet Hulk series. Uh, I have that on Blu-ray here. This is a this is a uh, animated features three movie collection. Uh, it got the, the Planet Hulk, Iron Man and Doctor Strange. And uh, the Planet Hulk one is the one that this is going to be uh, loosely based off of. I got this a number of years ago at like a, you know, old DVD store for like eight or nine bucks or whatever. And, you know, I, I, it's really good. If you have this, the Planet Hulk movie used to be on Netflix about two years ago. Uh, I doubt that it's on there now, especially it's like every time a movie is about to come out, they always take away the movies because they want you to rent or buy them to lead up to that. So I don't, I doubt it's on Netflix. Anyway, I also have my Doctor Strange copy. Um, this movie was okay. Uh, I, I mean, I was, I was entertained by it, but they could have did a lot more. Um, but one thing I am looking forward to in this Thor Ragnarok movie is, well, let me go back to uh, Thor The Dark World. That movie was a stream disappointment to me. Out of the six, I think it's, I think we're at 16 movies right now in the MCU and Iron Man 2 and Iron Man 3 are the worst. And then Thor and Thor The Dark World come right after that. And I like the first Thor better than the second Thor. Thor 2 was very disappointing. You know, when Malekith, the... Um, was it Malekith, the... Uh, I'm going to say Malekith, the accursed. Malekith... What is Malekith's full name? Help me out, uh, comic book people, in the comments. But in him versus Thor at the end of that movie was very disappointing. I really didn't feel like they were fighting uh, Jeremy Johns. And if you're watching this, you probably know who it is. I remember his review way back years ago. He was like, he felt like it was a uh, portal combat. Like they just wasn't fighting. They were just kind of dancing through uh, portals and stuff. And then we had Kate Denny's character messing everything up like, no, near. I mean, like she was making those jokes and stuff. And that movie is just extremely disappointing. That's why, you know, I don't want this movie. We can't have three sucky Thor movies in a row. But, you know, she's not in this. Uh, Jane Foster's not in it. Not Jane. That's not a real name. Jane Foster's her name in the movies. What is her name? The girl that played uh, Black Spawn. Natalie Portman. I, why am I forgetting all my people's name? Anyway, she's not in it. But at the end of the Thor of the Dark World, that movie was extremely disappointing. And they just didn't feel like they were just fighting, you know, Portal Combat, just like Jeremy John said. And, and this and that. It, it just sucked. It, it was very disappointing. But this Thor Ragnarok, I want to see some nice hand-to-hand -hand battles some nice blade to blade battles so when thor was uh doing that jump spin and coming down with his low hammer or or a tri blade or something and hella was blocking it like this i want to see a bunch of that you know what i'm saying i i i, I want to see all of that all of it i want to see it all and i cannot wait uh i want to see a nice thorough battle with hulk versus surter and hulk is not gonna hulk, hulk is not gonna be able to fight surter by himself He's gonna need he's gonna need uh, Heimdall, uh, Loki, uh, Thor, Hulk himself. They probably need Odin as well with the Odin Force. I just don't see it'll probably be it'll probably be at least three people fighting Surtur. I'm I'm just guessing. We'll just have to see. And if you don't know who Surtur is, he's that giant red fiery demon figure that was at the end or whatever of the uh, trailer where Hulk is coming through like this, about to smash the hell out of his forehead or whatever. It's probably going to be Hulk, Odin, and uh, Loki that are like a three-on-one or whatever. That's the only way I see that possible of them even winning. I don't even think they can beat him. They can probably even just trap him away somewhere for another thousand, five thousand, ten thousand, hundred thousand years. I don't know, but this movie looks dope as hell, man. Because I, I, I want to see, uh, I want to see Hulk versus uh, uh, Fang Wolf. What is his name? The Wolf Thing. Uh, I want to see Hulk versus that. I want to see uh, Valkyrie, Loki, Thor, and Hulk versus Hela. I also want to see Hulk and them versus Surtur. And then we're going to have Hulk versus Thor. That's at least four battles right there. And then we know we're going to get some extra battles in there where Hela wrecking shop on Asgard or whatever, beating up all the Asgardians. But th th there was a ton of Asgardians. And I don't, I don't want the Asgardians just to go out as like some fodder characters. You know, I, I don't want them just to be, you know, bam, bam, and they're dead. I, I want them to be worthy uh, opponents as well. But we're just going to have to see. I'm freaking excited about this movie. If you could not tell already, it looks freaking amazing. Let me make sure there is nothing else that I want to mention real quick uh, in this. In this. Oh, this is my box office predictions. Now. I want you to know, I want everybody to tell me what you think. Do you think that Thor Ragnarok will be able to make 
one billion dollars at the box office worldwide i say yes for two reasons reason number one is this is the going to be the third thor movie iron man 3 uh made a billion dollars and that's warranted because iron man is a very popular character and that movie did come right after that was the first movie in may of 2013 that came after um uh, after the Avengers, so of course it was riding on that. Now, Captain America uh, one and Captain America the first Avenger and Captain America Winter Soldier didn't make a billion, and I think I think part two made like six hundred something million. But Captain America Civil War made one point one. I mean, it's probably one point one for eight billion dollars, and of course uh, it made that because it's the third in the series, and also it had all the other Avengers in it as well. So. Will Thor Ragnarok be able to um, do it? Maybe off of it being a third one as well, because the first one made four hundred forty nine million off a one hundred and fifty million dollar budget. So it barely made three times the budget, but that's fine. The studio is satisfied. And let's see. Let's look at Thor the Dark World. Thor the Dark World made six hundred and forty four million dollars worldwide. What movie did it make the most? It's probably most likely China. Uh, yeah, China. It made oh, only fifty five million. I mean, I'm it's not. I'm not saying that's chump change. Okay, yeah, because uh, you know the as far as U.S. releases are concerned, I think the most that a U.S. movie has ever made in China was like three hundred and like ninety something million. Like their own movies that they produce, it gets up to like five hundred and ninety two, and that's some movie that came out this year called like Wolf Warrior Two. Which I, which I do need to check out. Um, so, but anyway, they made six hundred and six. It was a six hundred and sixty-four uh, million uh, worldwide. So, I think that Thor: The Dark, not Thor: The Dark World. I think that Thor: Ragnarok will make a billion dollars worldwide if it is a good movie. If the movie sucks, then no, it, it, it won't. But if the movie is, if it meets our expectations, if it meets our expectations, I think it will make one billion dollars. I'm actually going to say if the movie meets our expectations, it'll make one billion. If the movie blows us away and we're like, yeah, that Thor Ragnarok, oh my God, I want to see it right now. Ah! You know, if it's that good, it'll probably make 1.2 billion because like I said, it's going to be the third one uh, in the Thor uh, series. And then we have the Hulk. Hulk is going to be the ticket seller for this movie. Everybody loves Hulk. Everyone is clamoring for more and more Hulk. Um, and now uh, we he can't have his own solo movie right now, unfortunately, because Universal does own the distribution rights. And I remember, I mean, I, I've known that for a while. That's that's old news. But recently, last month in Comic Con, uh, I'm gonna say Mark Webb, Mark Ruffalo made a comment like, "Yeah, Universal doesn't want to make money." You know, I, I really don't because to my understanding is I understand it's where these studios when they have the rights to it. They have to make uh, X amount of films in X amount of time or the rights revert back to Marvel. Universal has made zero uh, films. I mean, they distributed the Incredible Hulk in 2008, but that was, um, you know, nine years ago. So what? Almost 10. Yeah. So uh, what's going on with that? I don't understand how the rights haven't uh, lapsed back to Marvel Studios that is owned by Disney. I'm thinking because it resets every time Thor is not Thor, but Hulk is in the movie. So the Avengers Age of Ultron that came out May of 2015, they may be a reason. But then again, I'm not a lawyer. I don't I don't know all the details of um, of the rights and whatnot, you know, like as far as that's concerned but anyway but guys i am really excited for thor ragnarok i cannot wait for asgard to triumph and beat the hell out of hella inserter what did you think are you excited about this movie are you not did this trailer turn you on did this trailer turn you off do you agree with me or do you disagree with me let me know in the comment section below let's get this conversation going and keep it flowing if you like this video go ahead and give me the thumbs up and if you don't like the video that's perfectly fine just leave me a mature comment below why and still give me the thumbs up since you're watching me on youtube go ahead and subscribe to my youtube channel why so you can get all the content that i have to provide you can also click the little bell so you can be notified when i make uploads and go ahead guys help me reach my first milestone of 1,000 subscribers at the time i'm making this video i think i'm at 460 so we have a ways to go you can also go to my website check me out there bookmark it i do have written reviews and also guys look me up on social media and i made it very easy for you guys because there's a description to everything that i just said 
in no there's a link to everything that i just said in the description box but guys i just want to thank you again for tuning in to my reaction slash opinion slash review for the thor ragnarok international trailer number two and before you go don't forget that my name is brennan keith avery and that's just my opinion peace